Hello, my name is Evelyn Delia. I am completing my master thesis at the Larson Lab at INRIA in Nancy, France, and I will be presenting Learning Task Controllers on a Humanoid Robot Using Multi-Objective Optimization. It's well known that controlling a legged robot such as a humanoid is not an easy task. It can be made easier by parameterizing the controller, but there still remain weights and gains to be tuned. Tuning the parameters of the controller takes a long time when done by hand, and usually only yields a single generic controller which has acceptable performance for a variety of robot trajectories. However, this often comes at the price of lower accuracy. Penko et al. proposed to solve this issue using a multi-objective optimization algorithm with two objectives, stability and accuracy. The result was a Pareto set of controller parameter solutions, some of which perform with lower positional error and others which prioritize stable, robust movements. This video demonstrates one of these optimized parameter sets. The goal of our work is to learn an even more diverse Pareto front, which contains solutions that work on a variety of robot trajectories and robot models. The solutions in the Pareto front are defined by the concept of Pareto optimality. Each solution cannot improve the performance of any single objective without sacrificing the performance of another objective. The figure shows what the 2D Pareto front learned in the work done by Penko et al. looks like. We use a QP solver with soft task priorities as our controller. The table shows the tasks used. Each task has a soft priority weight and a convergence gain associated. Our approach uses NSGA2, which is a state-of-the-art multi-objective evolutionary algorithm. It outputs a Pareto front of task parameter sets containing the task weights and gains. Instead of scoring each parameter set based only on its general accuracy or stability, we use a separate objective function per training trajectory. Each objective function measures the position error of the COM, hands, and feet of the robot. The objectives remain separate such that the objective space is multidimensional. For our experiments, we run our algorithm five separate times for 500 generations each. We used eight different training trajectories, which means that the resulting Pareto front is eight-dimensional. We also tested the Pareto solutions of this optimization on five modified robot models in simulation to determine whether the front is diverse enough to transfer some solutions. This table compares the average objective performance of a hand-tuned generic parameter set to the average performance of the learned generic parameter sets with our method. Here, generic means that the controller does not fail on any of the trajectories. We also found that for each of the modified robot models, at least a few Pareto solutions work. This shows that the Pareto fronts learned can be used when the actual robot model is different than the model the parameter sets were learned on. Here we show a box plot of the best 50 weight and gain sets learned over the five data sets for each trajectory, as well as the generic parameter sets. We can see that the COM always has a high weight and the posture always has a low weight, which suggests that no matter the trajectory, the COM position is always very important and the posture is always less important. We can also see from the plot, for example in the hand gain, that for many of the trajectories there is no overlap with the robust or generic parameter sets meaning that the generic solutions have worse performance for many of the trajectories. This video compares the learned parameter set that works the best for a given trajectory to a generic parameter set. We can see that for some trajectories, such as the walk on spot, the performance doesn't suffer much with generic parameters, but for other trajectories, such as touch ground, the performance suffers a lot. In conclusion, we show that our approach yields a diverse collection of parameter sets, it requires less hands-on time than manual tuning, and it also produces a large number of generic solutions instead of just one. The next step for us is to test some of these learned solutions on the real robot to see how well they transfer. Thank you for listening.